Hey everyone, this is Bo from the Mario server. I'm here to do a video on the new Halloween Mabinogi events that just came out. Alright, it's that time of the year, guys. If you guys look on the Mabinogi website, there is the Halloween Attendance event as well as the Halloween Villains event. So, let's go ahead and get started. Now, for the first event, it is the Halloween Attendance event. A really easy event, guys. It is literally your attendance stamp event, if you guys remember those. Now for this event, you just have to log in each day to collect stamps. And then if you reach a certain amount of total points, you will receive the Troublemaker Alto Pet Whistle. Alright. Now by now, you guys should know how to do the attendance event. All you have to do is just kind of click on the big button that says Get Stamp. After you reach a total of 20 points, ideally you want to be reaching 20 points to get the most amount of points per day. And that requires you to be on... Uh, I guess the game for 60 minutes Now these are the rewards you guys can redeem your points for lots of random stuff and Once you receive a certain amount of points you will receive these rewards uh, The biggest reward here of course is the troublemaker alto pet whistle at 500 I know there's a bigger reward here at 550 not really a best reward here because it is actually a title that expires After 30 days not sure why they did that, but okay and then there is the attendance point box rewards here that you guys can actually buy with your points. Um, lots of interesting things. I mean, there's a pet adoption medal, style tab stuff, so kind of nice. So that's where you guys can get it. So easy event, guys. Again, just click on get stamp once you reach one hour in the game and get rewards once you reach your cumulative point amount. And that's it. Redeem your points at the end and voila, that's, that's the event easy stuff <laughs> now if you guys need to see where your points are at and how long you've been click on that button in the game and that is where you guys can see it it'll pop up this menu and that is your total points that you have for I guess how long you've been doing this event and that's basically it guys now going on to the next event We've got a brand new Halloween Villains event. I like to say it's very similar to the ReZero event where you gotta do four different types of story stuff uh, with these four new characters and it'll take you guys four weeks. It seems like a new storyline is unlocked every week. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, there's going to be an item in the game that you can read more about the amount of rewards you guys will get uh, for logging in, for staying logged in, and whatnot. So be sure to look at that. And of course, um, it's going to have a brand new item called the Wanderer's Amulet. It is very similar to a totem that you can enhance using gem powders or onyxes. And it's it's kind of nice because it's, it's like random totem. <laughs> And you will be able to get some stickers in this, uh, I guess, event that you can redeem to these new NPCs for some rewards. So these are the rewards you guys can possibly get from the Halloween gift box. Uh, lots of Halloween related hats. Kind of cute-ish. Yeah, nice. And of course they brought back the Berman um, bags. But uh, not just that, they brought back a brand new one which is the special clothing bag 10 by 15 exchange coupon. Which I believe is probably the biggest clothing bag you can get in Mabby. Now I'm not going to explain too much about the points in this event because it's already kind of given to you guys in a form of a note. So if you guys log in and kind of start this quest, you guys should get this little note here that you can use. Just right click and use it. And it'll pretty much explain how you can get a certain amount of points, stickers and whatnot for how long you have to been have to be logged in. It's, it's all the information's right here. I'm sure you guys can read guys. And it'll even show you your total consecutive logins and so that's kinda nice. It keeps track of all that for you guys. So if you guys wanna you know wanna check that out, be sure to look at it. Now to start this event you have to talk to Aslan and she's uh, in Festia at the Adventure Zone when you kinda walk into Festia is on the right side of you guys. Talk to her and you're gonna have to choose your main character. Uh, and that's how you kind of start this event. It's easy. There's a story to it, so I don't really want to spoil it. I'm just going to briefly explain to you guys how this event works. So far, the story to this event isn't too long. I pretty much got it done within a few minutes, so it's no problem there, guys. Don't stress about it. 
Now, when you guys do this event, you guys will get two quests. One quest for the whole storyline and a daily quest. A daily quest, if you do, you will get some stickers every day, so be sure to do them. Now, a uh, little tip here, guys. If you guys can't find certain new NPCs, remember to click on the location check on your quest and you'll be able to spot them that way. So uh, that's uh, one little tip to find some new NPCs you guys aren't familiar with. So here's one of them right in tier uh, channel bank. So yeah, that, that's it. Now for this event, you guys will have to do a sort of like a mini dungeon, mini game kind of thing. Kind of like the ReZero Metia passes. If you right click and use the item, it will take you to this uh, graveyard. And you're going to have to click on the tombstones to find the bandages you need to turn into Aslan. A uh, very easy thing to do for this event is to use skills that will prevent you from being knocked down by these zombies such as Dance of Death and you just kind of click, you know, your tombstone. You only got five minutes to do this, so you better do this really quick. Uh, you will notice that these zombies are kind of annoying to the point that they'll just keep knocking you back. So again, use skills that don't knock you down, you know, like, I guess, Rage Impact and stuff like that. I don't know. There's so many skills out there. Um, you will see mimics spawning and those mimics will drop some onyxes that you guys can use for your wanderer's amulet. So be sure to pick them up. You don't want to forget that. There's another one, shield of trust that will protect you if you guys have the right sub skills to prevent yourself from getting knocked down. Also a good training method, right? Yeah, easy stuff. Nice stuff, but I always uh, favor Dance of Death the most. It is uh, the best one, kind of like clears everything. You can't really kill these zombies, you know, Windmill doesn't really do anything, and uh, they just, they're just creepy, crazy, hyperactive zombies. So if you have absolutely, like literally, absolutely no skills to protect yourself from this, um, the best case scenario I would suggest you guys do is to kind of uh, run away. <laughs> I mean, their range is ridiculous. Look at this. It's like, what? <laughs> How? How do you even touch me? But um, the best case here is to just kind of just run um, and try to get them, I guess, stuck in certain areas. So in this graveyard, there's lots of little ridges, broken buildings. You guys can kind of see these little broken fence looking kind of stuff. Just kind of run over here in between them they'll eventually get to you they're not that slow they're kind of weird zombies that just teleport to you oh it's like oh oh my god those horror movies all over again what the heck so um just kind of <laughs> sheep them into this little corner spot right here and they'll get stuck easy peasy i mean yeah this mi mission is only five minutes long but look i've already cleared it in half the time so it's not really a difficult thing to do as far as I know there's not really a way to clear this mission I think you just kind of have to exit and leave once you've gotten all the tombstones and you know bandages so yeah that's basically this little mini game it's like done ah, let's get rid of these zombies yeah okay that did nothing <laughs> that's basically uh, the fun part of this event now after you got your bandages, just go ahead and talk to Aslan to turn them in. Keep in mind that if you have a lot more bandages that, than she asked for, she will just end up taking them all. So yeah, just turn in the minimum. <laughs> and that is basically it, guys. You get your daily quest done. Now I'm going to show you guys a recording of my Twitch stream of me opening the box rewards. Let's start this up. Buy me some boxes. Buy only a total of five. That's all I can afford. Only got ten stickers left. Oh, let's see. Well, I hope I can get something amazing. I didn't see any quote-unquote junk items on the list on their website. So I really hope I can get some all like outfit stuff but it's hard to say with next time you know uh i didn't list the, the junk that you can get but here we go Let, let's see what i can get uh cross fingers and hope i get something good oh you got a potion <laughs> uh -huh. oh yeah 
stamina 300 SE potion. Okay, I guess you can get junk in there. They just didn't list it. Dang. Baited. I got another potion. No! Oh, are you kidding me? I got large nails! <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Oh, I, di I didn't eat my, my muffin. Do I even want to eat a muffin for this? I'll just whatever. I have a lot of muffins. Muffin eaten. I'm just gonna say like... I'm gonna say Dankus Spankus Alakazam and get a good thing. Dankus Spankus Alakazam. Good things. A tendering pot. <gasps> ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. I'm dropping this on the floor. I can't believe it though. Nails? Are you are you serious? Okay, next one. A pot! Oh god, this is horrible. For shame. The incantation didn't work. Or maybe the incantation was meant to give me a tendering pot to ease the pain. <laughs> it's okay. Next. Oh god, fabric. Such garbage. Oh. Uh. <laughs> That's how I feel now. It's, oh. Dang. Alright, well, that's good to know that you guys can get the same amount of rewards as that fishing event. <laughs> Alright, now that you guys have seen the rewards, time to take a look at the Wanderer's Amulet. The Wanderer's Amulet is basically a totem that you guys can put onyxes in and get a random stat roll on it. Uh, that is, of course, only if you succeed. You can do this 25 times on this totem. And if you fail, it'll still count as part of the 25 times. Yeah, ugh. I don't know about you guys. I really don't know what the fail rate is, but it seems relatively high. Now, if you guys don't have onyxes after the event, you can actually put fine or regular gem powders. They will work too, so it's kind of a nice little thing. Um, but I don't know about you guys, I don't get fine or regular gem powders too often. So make use of this event, guys. Now once you've done your amulet, you will receive the total stat reward. It'll look something like this, kind of like a bunch of random stats on it. Hopefully you guys get the rolls that you want, because I have no idea why I mostly just got int. I don't know if that's a thing. <laughs> um, but I was hoping for a bunch of luck. <laughs> But anyways, um, you can also see that it is tradable, so after you've done your stuff, you can trade it to one person if you wish to give it to somebody, or sell it to somebody. Um, that is not in the shop, I don't think it can be sold in the shop. Uh, there's also another secondary uh, skill, I guess, enhancement thing on it. I haven't done it because you need to have a fine onyx to put it on, and that one you can actually buy from the NPC. It's not really my cup of tea to spin my stickers on this, so I'm just letting you guys know that's where you guys can find it, as well as some extra empty totems that you guys can use. And that is my video on this event, guys. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. I really don't think I will be doing other videos on this event like how I did for the ReZero because it's kind of one of those annoying things to have to space out uh, my videos through four weeks long. It's a little bit annoying. Uh, instead, if you guys want to see the, uh, the event in, for the other weeks, be sure to tune into my Twitch channel and uh, check it out. All right. Thanks you guys for watching, and like always guys, please, please, please stay awesome.